Hello and welcome to Storybook Azeroth, where we adventure through some of the greatest stories in World of Warcraft. Today we're venturing to Silvermoon City in remembrance of Arthas's destruction of Quell Thalas. Champion, I'm here on behalf of Lorthamar Theron in the city of Silvermoon. The Regent Lord asks for your assistance with a ceremony of great importance to our people. He requests your presence at your earliest convenience. We have made many sacrifices. Ah, just in time. The light of the Sunwell will be with you. I will accompany you on your journey through the Ghostlands. Meet me in Tranquillion. Every year we ask a champion of our people to perform an act of remembrance in honor of those who fell to the Scourge. Lady Liadrin has performed this ritual, as have I, among others. This year, I am honored to give the task to you. The Regent Lord hands you an ornate lantern. This lantern carries a flame born of the Sunwell. I would ask that you bring it to locations that were significant to the fall of the Sunwell and of Quell Thalas, and light the memories we cannot forget. I proudly serve as Regent Lord. This land will never recover from the damage that was done here, but we lost so much more than land that day. We are a nation on the rise. Long has the southern wall separated Quel'Thalas from the once great kingdom of Lordaeron. We did not believe that anyone could breach it. That overconfidence was our undoing. When the Scourge arrived, the gate was not conquered by force. It was willingly opened by a traitor. Though caught unaware, every far strider, soldier, and magister in the area rushed to the defense of our homeland. Very few of them returned home. The gates now stand as a memorial in their name. In honor of those whose blood was shed to secure the survival of our people. Though the eternal sun may set on our darkest day, it rises again with the coming of the dawn. This is where the end began. My company was patrolling the forests near Zulaman when we received word of the Scourge invasion. We were wholly unprepared for what we encountered. Quoth, alas, had enjoyed years of idyllic peace. And suddenly, we were facing death itself. I lost my eye in that battle, and would have lost my life were it not for Haldoran. Words cannot describe the devastation our people suffered that day. That any of us survived to tell the tale is a miracle, one that we cannot afford to waste. The beauty of Eversong endures. And now to walk their path. We find strength in the Horde. Arthas cut through the land itself to get to the Sunwell. The Dead Scar is a constant reminder of that desecration. Where it starts is where our first line of defense attempted to hold the Scourge at bay. It is where the first blood was spilled. It was a slaughter. Take the lantern to the base of the Dead Scar and use its light to reveal the memories of what happened there. Stand tall, brothers and sisters. We must hold the line until reinforcements arrive. For Quell the Loss! Enough! I will be delayed no longer by this pointless rabble. Monster, you'll never reach the Sunwell. The Ranger General will stop you.
Lorthamar stands quiet for a moment. Eloa Bendel Falalin Morin Amin Amor. The light of the Sunwell be with you. The next memory. <clears throat> Forgive me. For many of our people, it was when we realized death was coming for us. A memorial to a particular defender lies to the west, in the place of her home. The light there has no doubt attracted some of the area's lingering souls. Clear them out, then relight the flame. By the light of the sun, falling children of the blood, they are breaking through, O children of the blood, by the light of the sun. Sylvanus Windrunner was our kingdom's protector. Had she and her rangers not met Arthas with such fierce resistance, our people might no longer exist. She paid the ultimate price so that enough of us might escape to rebuild our fallen kingdom. When Arthas raised her as a banshee and turned her against Quel'Thalas, it broke all our hearts. I've had my share of disagreements with Sylvanas, but I will never forget her sacrifice. She was the Ranger General of Silvermoon. Nothing will ever change that. Maladash, Malinore. Sylvanas and the Farstriders sacrificed more than most of us. Sometimes I must remind myself of that fact, given the current state of affairs. The Ranger General fell just east of Fairbreeze Village, where she was holding the line to protect civilians as they retreated to Silvermoon. If it wasn't for her, our people would number even less than we do now. Shine the lantern upon the battlefield, and witness how her forces ultimately broke under Arthas's personal assault. You there! Fast Rider! Man of Alista! Provide cover for the retreating civilians! You will not pass while I draw breath! of one of the more poetic retellings. As her defenders fell, with anguish she cried, Shindu Falalana Sindorai. She was a true ranger general until her last breath. May Silvermoon never forget her bravery in life. With our best defenders defeated and the line broken, Arthas made quick work of Silvermoon's remaining forces and tore through the city. 
This is where we part ways. I must return to Silvermoon before Halderon starts sending rangers to search for me. The Dragonhawk Master in Fairbreeze Village has orders to fly you to Queldenas. Someone much more familiar with the events on the island will meet you there. Witness the end. The removal of the final barrier. I am the Blade of the Light. Are you ready? Fight well. While the monument here was intended to honor the fallen members of the Shattered Sun, it quickly took on a second meeting for the Sindori. It was not far from here that we lost one of our greatest heroes, Asterian Sunstrider, the last king of Quel'Thalas. He led our final effort against the Scourge and personally crossed blades with Arthas himself. As we remember the sacrifices it took to reclaim this land, we also remember the sacrifices made in its defense. For thousands of years, the Sunwell meant everything to our people. Arthas dealt us a grievous wound when he defiled it. My faith was shattered when Silvermoon fell. I lost sight of who I was, but by the grace of the light, I found redemption before it was too late. Let this monument serve as a reminder of what it means to be Sindori. That our every deed may honor the sacrifices of those who came before us. No matter how much pain we endure, we will not lose hope. In the face of darkness, look always to the Eternal Sun. I answer to the light. Never forget the lives that were lost here, both to the Scourge and to their own misguided kin. Remember the Sunwell. We ride into battle with those words for a reason. We lost so much that day. I lost so much that day. Shine the lantern on the southern side of the island, where the dead scar meets the sea. There you will see how the fall of the Sunwell began, and with it, the last act of the High Elves. That is far enough, Prince Arthas. Your march ends here. Anarala Bellore! You will burn for your actions! You may have been formidable once, but I sense your soul fading. Your life force flickering weakly. A flame I will gladly extinguish. At least I have a soul, you despicable monster! Not for long. One final task remains. The flame of the lantern dims. Your final task is to rekindle it. In order to do so, you must walk one remaining path. While we are fortunate to hold the Sunwell once again, we must always remember that it is yet another part of us that Arthas took away, and that our late prince was forced to find a new way of life. Enter the Sunwell Plateau and witness its fall.
This is a high-ranking magister. We must have been betrayed from within. Defenders, hold the line here. We must not let those monsters reach the Sunwell. Citizens of Quel'Thalas, I have given you ample opportunities to surrender, but you have stubbornly refused. Know that today, your entire race and your ancient heritage will end. Death itself has come to claim the high home of the Elves! Arthas slaughtered our remaining forces, and used the Sunwell to resurrect Kel'Thuzad as a powerful lich, corrupting its waters beyond salvation. Our people would have soon suffered the same fate had we remained linked to its magic. With a heavy heart, Prince Kael'thas decided to destroy the Sunwell. The time has come! May the light of the sun guide us to the very end. The sound of cannons. The Amani have landed on the shore. We must hurry. Cut down enough undead for us to pass, and leave the rest for the trolls. That will buy us the time we need. The sun well. What has he done? The soul of our people. Now a desecrated font of decay. It worsens with each sunrise. Liadrin, guard the entrance. Let none pass. We shall hold the line until the very end. Salama Ashalanore! Hero, with me. Protect the Magisters at all costs. We must reach the Sunwell. The ritual appears to be working. Magisters, maintain your focus. It is done. Roma, teleport us to safety. And so ends the most tragic saga in our people's history. Follow me, champion. It is time to return the lantern to Silva. Always remember that our people are not defined by tragedy, but by our ability to overcome it. From the ashes of the past, we carry the flame of hope into the future.
I greet you on behalf of Silvermoon. The Regent Lord takes the lantern from you. It is done. What it is my honor to present you with the regalia of our greatest heroes. Bellono Silaru, Bellore Dorai. Rise, champion of the Sindori. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future adventures. Safe travels until we meet next in the world of Warcraft.